Hi, I am Alexandra Barker. I am your instructor for part two of this course. In part two, you will learn about the resources that you need in order to access the redistricting data files from the Census Bureau's File Transfer Protocol site, or FTP site for short. These are resources that you need to have handy before you start working with this data. You will also learn where to locate these files for download and how to import them into Microsoft Access. Then you learn how to extract the data and analyze it. We will go over examples of how to work with each of the four files that make up the PL94171 redistricting data summary file. In lesson four, we will explore the redistricting data program webpage. This is where you find critical resources for using this data. Next, you learn how to locate the files for download. Then, we will review the technical documentation about this data, specifically regarding how to identify geography codes and the metadata. Next, we will learn more about the prototype data, legacy format summary file 2020 style, that we will be using for this tutorial with a Microsoft Access database shell. To locate the 2020 Census redistricting data files for download, along with the documentation that will help you successfully use this data, you can click on the link available in the description of this video or visit census.gov and use the search bar to search for redistricting data PL94171 and click search. Let's use your first search result. Now you are at the Decennial Census PL94171 redistricting data page. On this page is where you find the redistricting data files for download for the 2020 Census, the 2010 Census, and also the 2000 Census. To locate the files for download, you scroll down and find the legacy format summary files hyperlink. Through this link, you will be able to access redistricting data tables for each state down to the block level. So let's click on the Legacy Format Summary Files link. You are now at the Parent Directory. Under the Parent Directory, you'll find the folder for the redistricting file PL94171. You just have to open this folder and you see all the files for each state. They are ready for you to click and download. Next, we provide you with several resources that are critical for your success using this data. First, let's review the technical documentation. Click on the 2020 Census State Redistricting PL94171 Summary File Technical Documentation link to open the PDF document. This document includes every information you would need to know in order to successfully use the redistricting files. I want to highlight two major areas that I use very often. One is Chapter 4, Summary Level, basically Geography. In Chapter 4, you find a complete list of all the geographies that you can use to access redistricting data. As you can see, every geography or summary level has a code associated with it. In lesson two, Mary went over the subject. With this resource, when you extract the files, you can use this code to indicate which geography you wanted the data for. For example, if you are looking to access data for the track level, all you have to do here is identify the code for tracks. In this case, it would be 140. And the data that you'll be extracting will be for census track for the state you selected. Next, let's take a look at Chapter 6, the Data Dictionary. I will highlight the Table Matrix section. This is very important because it gives you the metadata for the data you're about to extract. Once you extract the data, you notice that every column is labeled with a code. Here is where you see the metadata for each code. So when you look at data for column P001004, you know it's about Black or African American alone. In lesson 8, I will show you how you can add the metadata 
to the data you just extracted from the restricting files. Let's go back to the main page. Now, under Legacy Format Support Materials, you can access the header records. Let me show you what this is all about. This document gives you the definitions of all abbreviations and codes that are included in the data file. For instance, in regards to the geo headers, if you have a column called sum lab, you know it means summary level. Another important part of the metadata is to know what the topics are within each table. So click on the tab for segment one, which corresponds to file one. So when you open your data, like I mentioned earlier, looking at the technical documentation, the label of each column is a code. On this tab, you'll be able to see the metadata for that column. Basically, you'll learn the topic on the data provided for that field header. Next, we have the frequently used geographic summary level codes. We created this document to make it easier for you to work with census geography. Here you see the most used summary levels or geographies for accessing redistricting data. In lesson seven, we'll go over an example of how to use these codes to change the geography for the data you're about to extract. Next, we have the Microsoft Access database shell that you can download and use to extract the files. We already set up a few queries for you to facilitate your process in extracting the data. We're gonna review this in the next lessons. If you're using SAS as your statistical software, you can import the scripts. And if you're using R, we also have the scripts here for you. Last, we have a guide on how to use Microsoft Access database shell Together, we'll be going step-by-step step through this guide as we learn how to extract the data and use it in Microsoft Access. Regarding geography products, if you like to create maps using this data, here's where you go to download your shapefiles. Now, let's go back to the Redistricting Data Program page and visit the Redistricting Data Program Management page. In this page, you'll be able to learn in more detail about the five phases of the redistricting program. Here, you also can access the prototype data that we will be using for our tutorial today. This is a great resource to practice how to download and extract redistricting data files. Keep in mind that for the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using data files from the 2018 census test that took place in Rhode Island. We will also be demonstrating using it with Microsoft Access. However, like Mary pointed out in lesson three, if you don't have Microsoft Access, you can extract the data using R, SAS, Python, SQL, SQLite, Oracle, or any other statistical software. Before we learn how to download these files, let's first learn about the data file structure and segmentation. When downloading the restricting data, you'll be downloading four files. Geographic header file, file one that will contain tables P1 and P2, these are population tables. File two will include tables P3, P4, and age one, so population data as well as housing. And then file three, which is table P5, for group quarters population. In lesson two, you review what topics are available from each of these tables. When using these files in Microsoft Access, you notice that the names of these files are now 2020 PL Geo Header, 2020 PL Segment 1, in reference to File 1, Segment 2 will be your File 2, and Segment 3 for File 3. Note that each state will have four files containing data from the state to the block level. So when you're downloading these files, you will be able to select the state you want to download them for. And automatically, it will download the four files for you. Once you import the data into a statistical software, you'll be able to use a geographic code to select which geography or summary level you want to show this data for.
As a recap of lesson four, the 2020 redistricting data files are available in the redistricting data program page and again can be accessed under the Senio Census PL redistricting data summary files. right where this hyperlink is located, along with all the supporting materials.